everybody out there, my name is Dragnix. I'm going to play a little bit more Block Legend DX for you, but this is going to serve as my monthly um, update on the channel, talk about, you know, what's going on with the channel, what I'm doing, and a little bit about, you know, what's going on in life, and with a little gameplay as well. So, we're going to play a shoot at this here. We are going to go into the forest. We are going to use an item to start off this one. I want to put some patchwork armor on, um, up that defense a little bit. So you, you start, instead of with three, I'm going to start with six shield blocks for Shudidus, who's very high in speed. Um, agility is plus five to start off with, so th that's pretty good. Alright, so for those who have been part of the channel and those who, you know, have just joined the channel, I have been doing a little bit of growing lately. Um, since the start of the year, I think I've gone from, like, just under 100 subs to about, you know, 225, which is, you know, it's starting to grow little by little, and I'm really appreciative of that. So I want to thank everybody who have been watching and, you know, participating and, you know, giving me comments. Feedback has been really, really helpful, um, and I have been listening. Um, I hope people understand that I've been listening, but trust me, I've been listening. I've been changing things up, trying to do things a little bit differently. Um, got a little bit more equipment for myself, um, as well as just trying new things and trying different things that I wasn't before. So again, I want to thank everybody for giving me enough confidence to try something new and try something different at this point. Um, part of that is just, you know, getting a little bit more comfortable with, you know, what's going on, you know, hearing good feedback about things. Part of it is also like working at Tech Raptor and, you know, getting a little bit more comfortable with, you know, the content that I'm producing. So it is a little bit interesting of, of, of a journey here in terms of, you know, okay, I'm going to gamble with my Starbucks. Oh, of course not. Why would I do that? Um, it has been an interesting journey because this is not exactly something that I, w I am used to. Um, being a little bit more self-promoting, a little bit more confident in my stuff. Even though I was confident in my like software engineering skills, um, confidence has never been exactly my strong suit. Um, I want I'm more humble more than anything else, and I try I still think I am, but usually the humbleness went a little bit too far um, in terms of like lack of confidence, and I think I've been gaining it a little bit more. So again, that's sort of that you know wonderful nature of this project this project that i'm taking on in which you know doing something completely new and completely on my own in terms of like it's all up to me i'm doing this this channel by myself i'm going to have help obviously with you know certain people certain people that I'm, i've requested stuff with but it's all up to me to sort of execute it so that is fun actually um i know pe some people uh, close to me have been wondering you know are you doing this a little bit too much are you stressing yourself out i ain't trust me i ain't so for those people who have been worried about it trust me this is n nothing compared to what i was doing over in like the software engineering field because that that was frustrating me out so what can you see on the channel upcoming well there's going to be more edited content and the 200 subscriber giveaway definitely proved that people wanted more edited content. And so I've been doing more reaching out to developers. I've had developers reach out to me on, on just the channel alone to talk about, you know, you know, look at games, tell them straight up, you know, that this is going to be a first impressions or a review. You know, I, I do disclose all that information. That is something that I find very, very important. Just like TB, just like the Tech Raptor stuff, you know, you got to tell that these people straight up, hey, you know, I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm not going to, you know, change my opinion based on uh, getting a key for the game, but I want people to know, yeah, there is a possibility that getting a key for a game can influence a, you know, your opinion only because, you know, this is me starting out and, you know, that does help me at this point. Um, but again, I, it is my job as a critic to take that out aside and isolate and say, hey, look, you know, I know that this this person gave me a key, but guess what? The game still sucks or the game is still great or whatever at this point. Um, so you'll, you'll see a lot more edited content and I'm gonna try to branch out a little bit more on that content. I did a little bit more design stuff when I was starting out and I wanna start getting back into that. 
a little bit. Um, I think the design portion is something I can help out with on people because sometimes it's really hard to see what a game's design portion is and I think it's the one unique thing I can really add on to in terms of I am a software engineer, I know what some of those design portions can be. Um, despite not actually working in the gaming game design field, I know from a design level perspective in terms of what kind of things they're doing. So, you'll also start seeing a little bit more TF2 highlights in terms of some server highlights. Um, the fifth server, I'm part of the fifth clan, which is the um, fucked in the head clan, which seems appropriate. But um, I've, I've gathered a shitload of content in terms of backup videos over the last several weeks, uh, months actually, and I just haven't had the time or the, I don't want to say confidence, but I, more so the fact that I haven't just put it together, and I think I want to do a little bit of that now that I've sort of freed myself up from Let's Plays altogether, um, just because of the, the way that the channel will be working going forward. So, you'll see a little bit more of that as well. Now, I have gotten a lot of positive feedback on the 90 second dash segment, which is, it, it's interesting because the people like really short, you know, concise, this is what the game is, this is my opinion, so on and so forth. Now, from a video perspective, I mean, it, it's still a bunch of work because it's, you're actually, even more so, I want to say, than some other like the first impressions content in terms of the non-edited stuff because you just got to condense everything at that point. It's it's actually rather interesting to try to get your entire opinion of a game in 60 seconds. So that has been an interesting portion. And I've been doing that for Tech Raptor and I think that's where I've been, you know, sort of struggling on that point because I, I want to keep the two separate in terms of like, I'm providing Tech Raptor content, and I don't want it to bleed over into my content. I want them to help each other out, obviously, but I don't want one to sort of, you know, overtake the other, per se. Um, so, it has been a little bit weird, because the hunt is basically the 90-second dashes all in one form for a week. Um, so that's been, you know, it's just like, when I started doing the 90-second dashes, I'm like, oh, wait, I've been doing this for the hunt. It has worked, and that's why I've been trying to focus on sales and older titles, in particular sales titles, um, because I think that has done a good job in terms of highlighting things that games that people can play, especially like the I like the Deponia one in particular. Just like you know, a 98% game at this point is rather rather nice um, in terms of like if for anybody who's not played that game before, and I had it, just had it in my library for a while. And I had only played a little bit of it, and I'm like, okay, this seems like a good title to take a look at. And found that, yeah, this is really fun to play at this point. It reminds me of the old Sam and Max game. So if you haven't checked that video, go check it out, because it is, um, Deponia is worth it. And if you haven't picked up the game and you like any sort of point-and-click adventures, it's 49 cents. I, I was actually wrong when I did the video. I said it was 99 cents. It's not. It's 49. And you can actually pick up its the its sequels, not at nine and forty nine cents, unfortunately, but um, at a reduced price. I think if you buy the entire package over at um, Good Old Gaming, I think it's like fifty seven percent off for the entire three um, episodes. So keep that in mind. Um, I will say that content, my choice of content is getting a lot more confident lately. You will see that tonight. Um, tonight, I will be doing a video on Social Justice Warriors, which is one of those topics, and, and, not, and not the actual, you know, phrase Social Justice Warriors or the people who were considered Social Justice Warriors. There's a game called Social Justice Warriors, but it can, you know, that's a little bit controversial. A little bit, you know, out of the, out of the box for me, and even though I want to focus on gameplay and whether a game is good or not, I do want to get a little bit more confident because, you know, as I started doing that video, it was hard to say the least because it's just like, what do I say? Like, I mean, do, how do I diffuse the situation? Do I, you know, like, I mean, I want to be honest, but I also don't want to offend anyone at, at certain points if they think that I have a different opinion from them. Um, it has been an interesting, it's, a, it's sort of like a, a growing moment at that point. Like, okay, 
I got to get honest with myself here. I got to get honest. I mean, I'm going to be honest with people all the time, but I got to get honest with myself at this point, which is a little bit weird. It's like, are you always honest with yourself? Well, not entirely. So I'm getting a little bit more bold in terms of the choices that I'm making, which I think is... I mean, it's showing that I'm trying to grow grow as a person. I think that is working, and I kind of stuff that I definitely am a lot more confident in terms of talking with people, which is sort of a side effect from doing this stuff, even though I'm just talking to you from a mic. You should expect to see me more in terms of um, face cam, in terms of certain episodes. I'm going to try to work myself naturally into videos more, not necessarily out of the box. I think that will come because of the edited content, but expect to see this ugly mug a little bit more. Um, I know I'm not doing it for this video, mostly because I'm not exactly, you know, presentable today. Um, let's just put it that way. So, other projects. Um, I had mentioned that I am doing a video response to the controversial SVU episode that happened regarding gaming, and I'm still working on that. So people who have been waiting for that, you know, wait a little bit longer. I need to get permission from um, certain people in order to use some content on it. And I want to take my time on that because, again, gaming is really important to me. It's, you know, gotten me through some tough times. And the way they portrayed gamers in that really made me angry. It still makes me angry. Um, so I really want to take my time to really respond to that. You'll also see a special project that I'm working on for Tech Raptor next Thursday um, regarding a certain company and their YouTube policies and what I ran into regarding some critical content that I was trying to do and their lack of response regarding an email sent to them. Um, I'm going to have fun with that when it's going to be completely different from what you guys are usually expecting. Let's just put it that way, because, yeah, I, even I'm sort of sitting here going, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also working on, in the background, um, some other portions of the channel in terms of the art portion. And the aesthetic is something I've been needing to improve. I am reaching out to, to an artist or two to um, sort of improve the aesthetic of the channel, the banner. Um, I think I'm going to change my logo up. I like, I love my logo. I love the logo, the dragon with the dice, but I think it's not as appropriate anymore. Um, that was really an RTD thing, and really it may confuse people like, what, what's with the dice? I mean, so I'm going to change that up. I'm just not sure what I want to do with it yet, so I'm going to reach out to some artists and see what I can do at this point. Uh, I'm in trouble, aren't I? Shields, there we go. Swords. Uh, what do I want to do here, hearts? But, yeah, so uh, you're and you're going to see a little bit more style in terms of the editing as well, because, again, I'm a little more, bit more confident at this point, and with more confidence, I'll be able to do a little bit more with the what I've been wanting to do um, in terms of style and finesse, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Um, I also want to thank Te Tech Raptor for putting up with me. Um... I know that I can be, I don't want to say difficult, because I mean, yeah, I can be difficult at times. Uh, I'll put that out there. I'm going to die here. But um, they got to 1,000 subs on their YouTube channel. I want to feel like I helped on that. Um, so, again, thank you, Tech Raptor, for give, giving me a chance to do some content for you guys. And honestly, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. This is actually a really good timing-wise in terms of the end of this episode and losing. So this is Dragnix. I want to, again, thank you guys for watching the content, giving me your feedback, and letting me grow as a person. And, and those who have been really, like, putting, my, putting themselves out there to say, hey, go come look at this content. Again, I want to thank you all for everything that you've done to help grow this channel. And I hope I can live up to your expectations. All right, this is Dragonix signing out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and um, yeah, expect more good things. Later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback and comments below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragonix signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.